Today I'm showing you a childhood favourite. It's something that I've enjoyed ever since I was little and I still enjoy it to this day. Let's make some beautiful rich vanilla custard on the One Pot Chef. To make our custard, first I've got one and a half cups or about 375 millilitres of milk and I put it into a saucepan. I'm using full fat milk today, but you can use a lower fat skim milk if you prefer. And to that I'm adding in one cup of whipping cream. That's thickened cream here in Australia, but basically any cream suitable for whipping will be fine. And I'm also adding in two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Now I'm using my homemade vanilla extract, but store-bought will be fine. You could also use vanilla essence, or if you feel like going for the really strong stuff, you can use two vanilla bean pods, split them down the side, scrape the seeds out and put the pods in there as well. And we're just going to cook this stirring for about 10 to 12 minutes over a low heat until it's almost at the boiling point. Once we get to there, we can turn off the heat, set this aside and allow it to cool for another 10 minutes and allow those vanilla flavours to infuse. Strain the milk mixture into a heat proof jug and we're just going to leave this aside while we work on our other ingredients. Next, in a bowl, I've got six egg yolks and to that I'm adding in half a cup of caster sugar or super fine white sugar and two teaspoons of corn flour or cornstarch to my American friends. Now this will help to thicken it along with the eggs so we'll end up with a lovely thick custard. Now if you want it to be really thick you can add in a little bit of extra corn flour if you need to. Now we're just going to whisk these ingredients together until they're all combined we've got a lovely nice thick golden batter looking stuff. Next we're going to just gradually add in our hot milk mixture and just whisk that all together. Return the custard mixture to the pan and over a medium heat we're just going to stir this for about 10 to 15 minutes or until it thickens up. And our custard is just about ready to serve. You can see it's thickened up quite considerably and if you want to know if it's ready to serve you simply coat the back of the spoon and run your finger across with a line. If the line holds its shape it's ready to go. And here is our completed custard and it's beautifully thick perfect for pouring over apple pie or puddings or as I like to do it I just pour it into a little ramekin and sprinkle it with a little bit of nutmeg and I allow it to chill and it's beautiful as a cold custard dessert. Look at that steaming hot custard absolutely gorgeous. Well I'm going to brave burning my tongue and have a taste. Mm. That is just gorgeous. It's so creamy and rich and that beautiful vanilla flavour to it. Absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to have a bowl full of this off camera. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at OnePotChefShow.com and until next time, see you later. If you're making your custard ahead of time, simply make your custard, pour it into a container and cover the surface of the custard with some cling film or plastic wrap. That way it'll stop the custard from creating a skin on top. Then simply pop it into the fridge and allow it to chill until you're ready to use it.